Hello viewers of YouTube, it is Dominoid here once again for Gamegrin.com and this time I'm going to be proving that I am in fact literate. So we had an interesting delivery. Uh, this came addressed to my editor at my address. It was very confusing and uh, he explained to me that he hadn't quite explained who this was being sent to. Uh, nonetheless, I have a parcel. I'm going to open the parcel because that's how unboxings work. So here we are. This is what we have. It is Video Games FAQ. All that's left to know about games and gaming culture. Uh, it's by Mark J. P. Wolf, and it has been very kindly sent to us by Backbeat Books. Now, we will be featuring a full review of the book very soon, uh, but I'm just going to show you some of the lovely content inside. Now, there's lots of words because it's a book, and that's how books work, but uh, there's also some illustrations of some of the classic, classic parts of video games, so new innovations... Uh, the Arcade Evolve we've got here, look, we've got the N64 there, one of the greatest consoles ever created. Uh, new handheld systems uh, we've got covered here. We've got, um, and we've got some of the culture, so we've got collecting video games, emulation and flashback consoles. Um, very kind of hot topic at the moment, especially with the release of the SNES Mini. Uh, future directions for video games, so it sort of goes... Uh, it goes right the way through. There's a really nice bibliography in here showing where they got all their sources from. Um, and you can see, I mean, the, the bibliography here is absolutely massive. Look, look how just this is just lists of sources. So it shows you how well researched this is uh, because there's absolutely tons in here. I sort of flipped past the, the first few chapters there. But, I mean, I'll go through the contents and show you some of the stuff that we've got. So we've got the origins, uh, just a simple definition of defining terms, what makes a video game. The cathode ray tube amusement device, Goldsmith and Mann's patent. Now that one actually, I didn't know about. I consider myself a bit of a retro gamer, so that's that's gonna be quite interesting. Uh, we've got early mainframe games, the making of Space War. Um, that's one of the sort of the very first early classic games. Um, prototypes for the home, uh, Bears Brown Boxes, uh, you've got pinball and electric, electro-mechanical games, arcades before video games, because there were games in arcades, and there were arcades before video games, uh, but it was a very different kettle of fish. Um, and then you've got part two, an industry begins, and you've got you know, the first coin of operated video games, uh, networked games, the arcade expands, You've got the golden age, you've got the second generation. We've skipped the industry crash of 77 there because it's still a little bit hurtful to read about it. Um, the rise of third party developments. Um, we've got crash and recovery. There was another great North American video game crash in the 80s. Um, laser disc games, remember those? They were going to be the next big thing? Did not happen. Um, and yeah, there's there's just, yeah, there's lots in here. There's, there's a whole chapter on. Um, on home consoles and the, the sort of the war between the home and the arcades. Um, there's a, a quite detailed section here on violence in video games and controversies from games like Mortal Kombat, which is a big, big thing. Uh, I know it's easy to think of some of the, the earlier the earlier games as being a bit sort of a bit tame by today's standards, but uh, back in the day, there was a big controversy. And remember, they weren't always um the uh, the holders of real bbfc certificates as well so anybody could buy games it wasn't considered that there might be graphic content in them um we've got the fifth generation or six generations handheld systems homebrew games and communities the sort of the the precursor to the sort of the accepted indie industry self-publishing that we now have um We've got games and academia studying video games because it, it's a huge market now. Um, blockbuster games, Grand Theft Auto and others. Um, all the worlds a game, the gamification trend. Um, and that's something that's that's quite nice because that's, that's an area that uh, it's it's gone into most businesses now. It's gone into so many things where things have become gamified, where you get 
trophies or achievements for everyday things and um, it's it's a very interesting thing because it it, it does psychologically very much uh, get people involved so uh, yeah it's nice to see there's a lot of detailed stuff in here it's not just sort of a, a nostalgia book of oh look at these things do you remember these things well done you've got a memory it is actually a really detailed tome I mean we have got uh, 300 and 303 pages here of detailed detailed content and there are pictures but it's not absolutely loaded with them so we're not talking uh, a load of pictures with a bit of text like you do see in some of these books um, this is not a cheap cash in this is actually really good really detailed and there's some there's some really nice obscure things in here i mean we've got the snk neo geo there's um reference here to things like the atari st the ibms but look we've got the the pc engine or turbo graphics 16 um you know there's there's some machines here that a lot of people have forgotten about so yeah that's that's really good i'm, I'm very impressed with this um this is, of course, just initial impressions. I'm not going to sit and read a book on camera for you because that would be dull. But what I am going to do is I'm going to read this book and it will be reviewed on GameGrin.com in the next few weeks, depending on how quickly I read it. So keep an eye out for that review. Uh, if you're considering this for Christmas, it will be coming in our annual Christmas magazine, which will be arriving shortly, as it always does at this time of year of course. In the meantime, you can catch us on social media. We are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And of course, you can get all of the news, reviews, previews, and opinions that you could ever want at www.gamegrin.com. I have been Dominoid for Gamegrin.com, and I will see you soon. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and game on!